watching KNWA Today. 518, they are individuals who impact our area in a variety of ways. We call them movers and shakers. You know, it's funny I use the word variety because this morning I profile one individual who wears many hats, whether he's on stage or on camera. He's a thespian with a wild side. Some people have it. Get all the good stuff. While others struggle to find it. Being creative has always been my passion. But not everyone is like Jason Sewell. And the dedication to his craft has been unbridled. My life is this beautiful, to me, beautiful kind of tapestry made up of all of these different endeavors. This jack of all trades can be found either hosting, acting, singing, or appearing at some of Northwest Arkansas's biggest events. And just like now, Sewell's magnetic presence began at an early age. People tell me now that I was a ham, you know, as a kid. So I was always, you know, at the family gatherings or at the parties or whatever it was. I loved being the center of attention. And he would harness that excitement in front of the camera. I was always, I was actually always outside making movies uh, with camcorders. I did a lot of that as a kid. Yes. But he needed inspiration. He found that from late night veterans like Carson and Letterman, along with a coming of age variety show. I would, you know, stay up late, later than I probably should have, watching Saturday Night Live, watching sketches, creating my own sketches uh, in, in class, in study hall. I would write these things out. His learning paid off during his sophomore year. In the 10th grade, when I got the lead in the school play of Our Town. So I was uh, cast as George Gibbs in Our Town. After graduating from UCA, Sewell gained his master's in theater from Bowling Green University. He would use that experience soon after, but it would be a half a world away. I actually lived in a little place in England called Hereford, a tiny little spot it's on the border of England and Wales. And I worked at a junior youth theater. And it was in England where Sewell found another passion working with children. After four years overseas, he returned stateside and to Northwest Arkansas, applying for a position at a new venue called Trike Theater. And it said, um, life skills through theater skills. And I said, well, that's me. That's, that, that's true to my heart. I, I vibe with that. Sewell would add on more projects, from singing in his band, Ultra Suede, and performing with a comedy improv group, to hosting his ever-popular show, Later with Jason Sewell, and Good Day NWA. I'm very active. I'm a runner, so I'm always, you know, out hustling. But I'm also hustling in my work life as well. It's a juggling act Sewell embraces. And I think they've really also helped give me focus. I know that might sound crazy because it's a lot of things I'm talking about. But if you boil it down, I, really, I, I feel like instead of trying to do everything, I've limited it to the things that I feel really passionate about. Everyone has their own niche. For Jason Sewell, it's the dedication, sacrifice, and commitment to the craft that brings his imagination to life. It might not be the right choice for somebody else, but I know that it's the right choice for me, so I stay true to that calling. Now, Jason says he's had several chances to move elsewhere for a more lucrative opportunity, but Northwest Arkansas has given him a space to feed his creative genius. By the way, don't forget to check out Jason along with our own Jacqueline House weekdays at 1230 for Good Day NWA. And for more on our movers and shakers, you can head to our website, nwahomepage.com.